Hi, this is the third presentation for the fifth week of the ISTF Chapter Funding Workshop. Here we're going to discuss indicators, targets, baselines, and milestones. For, for some definitions, first, most of this presentation is based on a presentation from the European community, and at the reference for it is at the end of this unit. So indicators then are what will be measured to indicate progress on outputs, outcomes, impacts. It's not what to be achieved, that is what a target is. Then the baseline is the starting point for an indicator and a target is the desired final state or value that an indicator will achieve. Milestones are various um, values for indicators set for various points along the route towards achieving the target. So then to measure change or progress in achieving the outcomes of a put forward in, for your project, you first want to set the baselines, set the endpoint targets, set the milestones in between them, and then look at your progress as you move through the years of the project. So let's take a look at this example template from the IUCN Save Our Species project monitoring plan for their proposals. For your project results, they are basically a restatement of the actionable SMART objectives. And for each of these results that you want to achieve, you might have a couple of indicators of progress on that result. And for each of those, results, you will have indicated what the baseline was and what the end target is, and then what data will be collected to show that um, what's happening with that indicator. So indicators need to be linked to SMART objectives, SMART again being specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time-bound objectives. Each indicator must be linked to an objective for it to be useful, but for certain objectives, maybe more than one indicator will be required. So in defining objectives then, you need to focus on what can be measured. There are different kinds of indicators. There can be output indicators. For example, what are the results of the actions or activities you've undertaken in your project? such as what are the services or facilities that have been delivered, the number of people trained, here for example, the number of wells or, that have been dug. You can have outcome indicators. These are what are the changes that have resulted from the outputs of your activities. So these can be changes in behaviors or systems, such as the number of people who are now using improved water sources, that would be a change in their behavior, using better water sources. And then there will be the impact indicators, what's happening at the, for the long-term goal of the project, the long-term goal to which the project is looking to contribute. These larger long-term indicators would be for impact, something maybe like increased tree cover for an area, poverty reduction, or economic development. So sometimes you may think you have an indicator, but you really have an objective. So if you say something like increased primary enrollment, that's probably more of an objective that you're trying to achieve. But if you can make that numerical, like a X net primary enrollment rate per year, that will indicate that you have an indicator for what is something that you can actually measure. So what makes a good indicator? Well, it should be specific so you can measure it and you need to know what kind of data you can collect for it. It should be relevant to the results chain to show that you're having an effect with your project. It should be useful for making management decisions Indicators should include a mix of qualitative and quantitative data. Now, qualitative data will be something like changes in attitudes, uh, changes in how people perceive things, and that can be assessed via things like simple surveys. And indicators that have all been already 
defined internationally can be used for making comparisons among different projects. Let's talk about baselines a little bit. A baseline then is the measure of a situation before any action starts. And if it's a new action, it could be zero. There has been nothing done like this before, so nothing's happening. And a baseline then is used to measure change and progress. All indicators must have a baseline before the action starts, or it should state when the baseline data will become available. You can use the existing data if possible, but that data should be checked for reliability. And if you need to collect your own data, make sure you do it before or very early in the project. So talking about targets then. So if we've taken the baseline, now we're going to the target for a given indicator. The target is the desired endpoint for each indicator. It is often planned to be achieved in the last year of a project. It should be time specific, i.e. it should be clear when the target, when you expect to achieve it. So another place that there could be a little bit of confusion is between indicators and the targets. So an indicator is a variable and a target is a specific final value that you're trying to achieve. So the variable would be the number of trees produced per species in each community nursery. And a target would be something like make, saying 2000 species will be what we're targeting here to achieve in each of three community nurseries at the end of two years of a project. Now, the further you get along in the value chain from output to outcomes, secondary outcomes to impact, you're more likely to need to make a judgment to reformulate those targets as you move along. Okay, so what are milestones? Well, these are points along the trajectory from baseline to target, and they help to tra track your progress and to make changes in route so that you can address underperforming areas in your project. And for outputs that are what you measure from what comes directly out of specific actions or activities, these should be at least annual. For outcomes, the data, which are the measurable change, data may not be available annually. So here are references, and we have more references that I'll provide along with presentations. And then for your homework, I'd like you to look at your theory of change and or logic model and develop the indicators, baselines, targets, and milestones for the outputs and outcomes that you have put forward in your proposal. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.